so guys on monday i was going for lectures and i came across this very long line at kalba town so i just said let me just capture the moment and yeah guys this line is for the new buses that we have right now in sierra leone which is known as waka fine bus and to be honest guys the line was very long so guys on monday tuesday and wednesday people are always struggle for transportation especially monday and tuesday so that is why the line was very long and this is another bus stop this is the second bus stop which is known as pmb so people are always gather here again to wait for the bus from 6 to 10 a.m in the morning all of the commercial vehicles are diverted by the police to the old road and that will help to reduce the traffic in the new road so that the wakafine bus can move freely So before going further with my own explanation, let us hear from the First Lady of Sierra Leone, Mrs. Fatima Madabio, what she has to say about the buses. And I will be right back. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Anyway, I want to just do a quick video because me, when I'm excited, I the kind of this blue up here and can't talk about the excitement. Today, we don't go launch the 50 bus system. The bus the way they talk and do president to be non promise Fritonians then say it will make sure say we get enough transportation then at this city yeah. when nobody no go complain about transport business again and today we president don't make sure say that word we be tell we it don't come true we don't go launch them na the you building today and uh, the excitement we want to talk about quick one then one the bus they take 70 people. So do ya. If you come, you meet the bus don't flop. No need for begin to push or do anything. Allow that bus for go because every 10 minutes you will must get a bus where you can pick you. So no no need for make any confusion. Allow the bus for go and allow the other new other bus come where you go join and go to your next destination. Two, na ten leons na UDP. So it no matter. Who say you to go? As long as that bus then you route it to go, it no go stop halfway and say let you candle for join another bus and then candle and join another bus and you go to pay pay. No, that no get for happen. When you don't pay you ten years inside this bus here. If now the bus say it go from Lomli to Calbato, that bus did the carry go take Calbato before you candle. So that one is even another excitement. I'm very happy because at the sea with people them, they thin up na road, they struggle, forget transport. Now all that one they don't do. And the other thing where the Minister of Transport do na in this, they make sure say this trip they recruit fifty women them where they they part of the drivers them where go they drive with people there. And you know say woman, where you make woman they drive, woman they are the safest drivers there all over the world. So I am so happy say the, the ministry then decide for bring woman them into them planning and make sure say we get woman the winner drivers, we get woman the winner conductors, we get woman the winner mechanics for help and make just say this with free town and uh, worker fine bosses them then go they do them work for with people them and will not go get any problem the other thing also we have one for talk about now the facts say the bosses then get cctv so which means every boss is safe any crime where you commit now any of them bosses there yeah now um the record them people then go see them then go no say now you do them your face go show everybody go no say now you do them so then camera they did then they run 24 hours as long as the bosses then they run the camera then they run 24 hours so we know say we woman who picking them where now they are always 
they fit for. Then safe for use them buses there, yeah. Then safe for travel with anybody inside them buses there, yeah. Because CCTV they they where they protect them, we go make sure say if anybody try for harass them, if anybody try for do anything to the way they're not supposed to do, we go get evidence that the buses them, and then evidence then they now we go use against the person if we do any crime with they against the woman then in the country. So yeah, I'm so happy. The other one also what I want for talk about yeah all over the world we put boss flop if pregnant woman come or an elderly person come inside the bus you were strong you were fit you they grab and allow the pregnant woman or this ageable person make them sit down all sign of the world was that transportation done successful now so it did happen so i had the big me people in a free time say do ya Lord, we safe do that day. Lord, make sure say the pregnant woman them make them feel comfortable. The old people them let them say feel comfortable for use them with buses there. Yeah. And also the disabled them. This bus gets a special ramp for disabled them. So disabled them, woman and man, they all able use the buses. So the bus really now for we all, everybody now in the now in the part of this bus here. Yeah. hi guys welcome back to the channel so guys today is saturday and today is the 17th of february and i want to go to the town i want to go and warm some air and, and i want to take you guys along the last time i told you guys that i will do a video on the buses that we have right now in sierra leone so that is what i'm going to do i'm going to create that content and i will take you guys along but the area where i am staying my own vicinity the buses are not located in this area we don't have a bus stop in my own area so i have to go to Calabar town so right now i want to go to Calabar town and join the line but hopefully maybe there will be no line because on saturday people are not going to the town like like monday tuesday wednesday so yeah guys that is where i am heading and let me just show you guys what i'm putting on let me show you guys okay so this is how i'm looking like and i have my black shoes on so guys let's keep on going <laughs> So guys, I'm on my way to Kalba town. I took another transport because we don't have a bus stop in my own vicinity. So that is why I'm in another vehicle going to Kalba town and I want to go and catch the bus. So guys, as soon as I get down from the vehicle, I drop my bag. <laughs> So guys, as soon as I get inside the bus, I decided to charge my phone because I don't have enough charging on my phone and I'm using my phone to film content. Is it, is it too bad? Yes, sir. Is it too bad? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. 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 And I also asked the conductor a few questions if he will allow me or if they will allow me to film in the bus and he said let me just go ahead and film. So guys I don't know how much camera the bus have but I think they have up to five or six camera in the bus. So this is how the bus looks like and yeah guys just keep on watching okay. Like 
This is the other bus stop, PMB, and this is the same place where I saw a long cube the other day while I was going for lectures. So this is the same place, and today is Saturday. Just like I said, Saturday, you will not see any cube because people are not going to the town like Monday or Tuesday. So guys, this second badge of people, they have already occupied the space in the bus because the bus is taking 70 people but there are a lot of space if you want to stand you can stand and you can grab the handle in the bus So guys, the Wakafine bus is using Kisi Road and Kisi Road is a very populated area. It's not that populated but it's a market area. People have shops and they are doing their things, selling their goods. So Wakafine bus is using Kisi Road and Kisi Road is the main road that leads to Eastern Police, where we have our clock tower. So, guys, each and every boss came with megaphone so the driver will make use of the megaphone by calling different stations and i also noticed that the buses have a counting machine that is above the door and whenever a passenger is walking towards the door as soon as the passenger step is or her feet inside the bus it immediately blinks that means it takes tally of each and every person or each and every passenger that enters the bus and I also noticed that each and every passenger in the bus are exit from the back door. And when the passenger wants to enter the bus, they are using the, the front door, which is located in the driver's area, the driver's seat. So they are using that door and the driver is the one that is collecting each and every ticket from the passengers and he also tears the ticket into two pieces and give you the passenger the half one and throw away the other one so that is what i observe so before ever you board the bus they have different people that are selling tickets at the bus stop they have like men and women so they are selling tickets before ever you enter the bus you will first buy the ticket outside then you can go ahead and use the same ticket then you can enter the bus if that makes sense so now we have done with kisi wood now we have entered eastern police and this is our clock tower this eastern police is the center of freetown in this area eastern police this is the other route that leads to Abacha Street, which is the populated area. And it's a business center. Abacha Street, say, Ragu, what's going on? Abacha, that was free. Abacha Street, say, Ragu, what's going on? Yeah, go, stop. Wait, wait, wait. Lago, lago, lago. Oh, my God. 
Amateur students, are the principal. I will be all. I will be I will be I will be I We have finally reached our destination and I decided to disconnect my phone and guess what guys by the time that we reach our destination my phone is already charged although it is not full but yes I have a lot of charging that can save me until I get back home so yeah guys this is the last station which is PZ so guys as you heard from the people that are selling the tickets they are even calling the price some of them even have a megaphone and guys this is what i'm talking about this is the front door and this is where they collect the tickets and tear them okay so this is just me going back home i'm snacking on a cake and a cold beer if you if you know this channel for the longest time now you will know that i love ginger beer and i've said it a countless time So yeah guys we are heading home and on our way going we also saw some of the buses and i don't know what is the reason but they are parking maybe like almost six or seven bus they are parking in a different area i don't know why but yeah guys that is it and i hope you enjoy watching the video as well as i enjoy creating it if you know that you love this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and please let us reach 1k subscribers okay thank you for watching and i will see you guys on the next video bye <laughs> Station. Do you know now? Station. I hope so you don't talk.